Chat, here we go. It's the Middle East Main Event Grand Final, and who else did we expect to play in it than Rawas and Fahad, two of the top Middle East 1v1 players, definitely the top two that came into this event. And now we'll see them go head to head in a best of seven. Lots on the line, $500 for winning this bracket of eight, or in the case of Middle East, actually seven. Uh, second place going home only with 125, not nearly as good of a takeaway. And on top of that, both these guys playing in the World Final. So whichever one of them getting the win here will get a better seed in the World Final. They'll play the second place North American finisher as opposed to the first, which it's usually a good idea to avoid the best player from another region. We have seen these guys play before. I, I, I mentioned it a couple times already off stream, but the YouTube frogs, they just joined in. Uh, it started 30 seconds ago for them. So I'll mention that Rawas and Fahad have played each other actually somewhat recently. Uh, when we did the Mount 1v1 event, which was a, a 1v1 event where we had lots of the top like 1v1ers of the past defend a gauntlet. So we had Scrub Killer, Kronobi, uh, Jorias, Khaled, who unfortunately ended up having to drop out, but they defended the mount and we had some new challengers. Both Rawas and Fahad played to be the Middle East challenger. And in that matchup, Fahad won. Fahad took Rawas down and had the edge ever so slightly. On top of that, Fahad also most recently uh, ranked number one. Rawas has been ranked one in 1v1 in the past, I'm sure. But Fahad got it maybe a couple weeks ago, maybe even just a week ago, Fahad got to rank one. I don't think he has it still. I actually think Khaled got it back again last time I checked, but I don't know that for sure. Rawas, man, his offense has started off great at the start of this game. Fahad, if you guys were watching Roll Diz uh, cover Fahad's game in the semifinal before, you'll know that Fahad is the ground goat as he so frequently said and he's well deserved i mean he is a great ground player i think a lot of the middle east guys are great ground players in general but something that you see from the the youngsters including his matchup in the semifinal, is the next gen level players they're all over the place they don't necessarily play on the ground they have great aerial game as well even uh you know from the middle east region which seems to be a region that plays a better ground game and then therefore focuses on the ground game a little bit more and some of the others. But Rawas, today, he has had a mix-up on his attack. He's been relying a lot on power shots and quick counterattacks. Not necessarily normally his style. Nice chip off the back wall by Fahad. Um, when we've seen Rawas get wins in the past, he has loved to slow the ball down and play these low dribbles and carries as he snakes around the field in a way that's very unique to him. Um... It, I feel like he'd be one of the players I could tell that it was them without even knowing um, and seeing their name. But I know that I think I can do that. I'm sure if I had to place a bunch of names, I would fail miserably. Bahad cannot get back on this kickoff. Rawas grabbing a sixth goal, running it up here against Bahad. Ruas having to make it through his own brother in the semifinal to get here, and he did so in casual fashion. In fact, uh, Ruas hasn't dropped a game yet. We saw KV1 in the South American main event, made it through the entire main event without dropping a single game. 3-0 sweeps in the quarter and semifinals, and then a 4-0 sweep in the grand final. Ruas technically still a possibility for him to do that. Uh, he did get his two 3-0 sweeps on the way here, but it would be crazy to see a 4-0 sweep against the likes of Fahad. He is such a high-level once player. And as chat showed in the predictions earlier, they are very evenly matched. Oh, Rawas just barely missing wide. Almost launched a full field shot off of his back wall. Rawas, goal line defense is what he's known for. But today, I would say he's just been another top ones player. I mean... Normally, his goal line defense is so good, you know, you put him at the best of the best. Today, though, 
I would say he's just been a regular top ones defender. Hasn't had the perfect clean slate that we normally see him have. But man, these kickoffs are constantly in his favor. Baja needs to figure something out. We saw KV1 dominate South America with his kickoffs. These guys won't necessarily have to play KV1 right away. Uh, the world final will be played with the North American and Middle East players on one side of the bracket, so they'll have to make it through the North Americans or potentially themselves again if they both win um, against their North American opponents. And then they may or may not meet KV1 and his kickoff craziness in the final. Fahad, look at that! Fahad can play in the air as well. He says the ground goat. No, I'm just the goat goat. Slamming it high off the back wall. Rawas doing his best to get up in the way. But he cannot intercept what was a perfectly placed shot. Fahad still down three. Why is one region on one side of the bracket? Uh, ping for games in the world final. South America versus Middle East would not be very good. So at worst, we're only going to have one of those matches. Bahad trying to stop the ball and go low 50. A great 50 outside the net. He doesn't have a lot of boost to make this play, but he feels confident going up for it. He got a fairly decent touch, but he's still not in a good spot now. Forced back into his net for a last second save. Rawas dodging demos so well today against everybody he's been playing. Does not let himself get roughed up. Bahad, really good defense to cover that fake. And actually, he's got himself an open net. I'm not sure what happened here with Ruas. Ruas trying to cut through and demo Fahad. Oh, he actually got clipped up by it. Not only did the bump not work for him, but it actually slowed him down in the retreat. That's crazy. What a good dodge by Fahad. Jumping off the top of Ruas's car. Rawas, the bounce dribble. Fahad says, I'll take that. That bounce dribble is far too high for you to get away with it. Fahad playing close defense. Man, Rawas is trying to be too patient. I think he needed to throw some kind of fake single jump if he wanted to convince Fahad that he couldn't challenge. But as he just sits there and waits for it to come back down, Fahad will stake it away. Um, the, the grand final will be played if Sam meets Middle East. Uh, we've done it before, it's just not ideal. Bahad. Catch, and into a bounce dribble, Rawas. Gave him some space, but it's quick back to it. He's been zooming around the map, and he'll score a ninth. 9-8 for Rawas. What a deep challenge. I just don't think Fahad expected Rawas to swing to his back wall and come back so quickly. Fahad should be able to start a dribble here. Rawas is going to dunk. He's going to play defense with offense. He knows he's got a one goal lead, but that doesn't mean he's going to sit back and wait to see what Fahad's going to do. He'll dive and dunk it clean off the top of his car. A bit of a risk if Fahad had expected that early challenge. He might have been able to pop it over him. But a successful risk for Rawas. Fahad once again with a dribble. Taking it to the air. Is he going to go air dribble? Bump! He doesn't. Instead, he just accelerates the ball past the Rawas pre-jump. This is a great play. Getting around it to tap it away. I think Rawas was just not expecting the continuation of that. Maybe thought he was going to try and dodge an irritable bump to get to the ball instead.
Baja needing one goal. 10 seconds left to go. Got himself some space. Rolas comes in, dunks away, and man, it's a repeat of the crucial moment we saw before. Baja trying to gain control of the dribble, not willing to flick and make the outplay early when he needs to. And Rolas will punish him for that. Three seconds left to go. I think game number one going to Rolas. Rolas yet to drop a single game so far in the Middle East main event. And he's not going to start now. Rawas versus Fahad. Uh, Vakinus, I'll check. I'm not sure. I thought maybe I heard it for a second. Um, I don't see it right now, but, but I'll check after. Rawas. The immediate goal. Once again in the lead, putting Fahad on his back foot within five seconds of the game. But as chat was pointing out a second ago, that last game, very high scoring. Um, you, you can't really get down too much about an early deficit, especially only a one goal deficit, no matter how fast it comes, because these guys scoring almost 10 goals each in the last game. So lots and lots of game to go. Neither one of them really ever out of it until they're up 20 plus. Nice flick from Fahad. We haven't seen him go to the flick game yet today, but that's because we saw Rawas challenging earlier the past couple times he started those dribbles. Rawas has turned infield, dunked them right off the top of him every time he can. This time Rawas heading back to net will get punished for doing so. Bahad, high pop, the air dribble, forced out by that swinging early challenge by Rawas. You see that from one's players a lot. They don't have possession. They want to, you know, kind of give some faux pressure to the offender. So they do a big swinging challenge that isn't really ever planning on affecting the ball at all, but it does scare players a lot. And they end up getting a first touch too strong. Fahad, a second goal and a lead for the first time in a while. Rawas all the way back to his half. Fahad getting a bounce dribble going off his own back wall. He's got Rawas in the shadow defense. Rawas cannot get up in time. This is what I'm talking about. These are the situations that a Rawas, definitely Rawas in next gen three, man. He just did not get scored on when he was in this shadow right in front of the ball. Nobody could get it past him. But maybe the offense has grown since then. Maybe Rawas is slightly off his game. Either way, Fahad up 3-1. The quick kickoff shot. Not in the goal for Rawas. He needed a flip. He needed two flips if he wanted to finish that. Fahad pre-flip and Rawas slow play. Fahad, he makes it back. He pre-flipped to stop the quick shot. Rawas seemed like he was one step ahead by faking it and going short and trying to go near post, but Fahad recovers for that as well. Fahad taking Rawas off the map. He's got all the field in the world. He really likes this bounce dribble. In fact, he is going to take a shot immediately though. I think he would have continued this dribble if he didn't notice the way Rawas set up after respawning, turning to that boost and he's like, oh, even that is enough of a window for me to launch my shot. 4-1. A complete momentum shift back in Fahad's favor. Fahad outplaying himself a little bit. In net with not a lot of boost. Went up the top of the net to try and give himself a little bit of height, but for last, too good. Too precise for Fahad to get away with that. Fahad, the chip, bounce dribble, backwards challenged by Rawas. Not able to steal the possession and Fahad will just take Rawas off the map. 5-2. Two. two minutes into this game, we talked about how Rawas had that quick first goal. Since then, a 5-1 swing for Fahad. Fahad's kickoff goal sent away. Rawas almost managed to bit, get the corner boost as well. But trying to greet it out is the reason why he does get scored on. 
Or never mind, he really had already pre-flipped to that spot. He had no choice to try and send it high. Bahad. A demo and a quick shot, 7-2. Fully in control of this game number two. Bahad up the back wall, trying to outpace Rawas, and Rawas just barely made it. He sent it away, but only barely hitting the inside of that corner. Baja trying to fake. Rawas covers both well. Rawas can't get the dribble going fast enough. Baja knows it. That's why you saw the early challenge from him. Great clear and efficient use of the boost. Rawas recognizing that Baja was not going to challenge him, so he just held on to his 20. And then Baja realized too late he had lost this race to the midfield. Thought maybe he could... Steal it away. Rawas, not gonna be able to pick up midfield boost and make a play, so he just booms a power shot. Now he's got a hundred, but Bahad has been lethal. Not this time though, an early flick back behind the halfway line is going to have a hard time getting past any defender. And Baja this time, he guesses correctly coming off the top of his net and intercepts exactly where Rawas put it, playing that with no boost. Was going to have a hard time getting a save. Otherwise, Rawas though says it's only temporary you're keeping me out of your net. Playing with no boost too. Baja could not chase him down. Rawas, direct kickoff goal. I mean, he's just been getting more of these than we've seen Faha get. All of them are dying right here in that mid-circle. And then he follows it up with a quick aerial shot. Faha can't get there. I mean, no game is ever over if he can just keep stacking up those. A minute left to go. A two-goal lead for Faha. He drops a high bounce from the ceiling. Rawas covers it. Fahad is not coming off the ball. He's done a good job holding on to his boost. So he still has 40, but that 50 is no good for him. Rawas should absolutely be scoring a six. Felt like Fahad was in a little bit deep. And that ended up being true. Another good backflip challenge. It is not easy to challenge somebody with either a straight backflip or a diagonal backflip, but Rawas has done it well so far in this series against Fahad. Way more often than not, we see players going flying by the ball because they're falling in love too much with trying to backflip challenge, but that's not the case for this youngster. Using his foot reset just to launch himself to the ground. Ooh, a missed touch. Fahad deciding not to try and pounce on it. Sometimes those missed touches end up working out well for you because defenders overreact and think they can take it away. That's not going to happen with Fahad. He'll play it safe, and he'll dunk it off Rawas and get an 8-6 lead. Rawas trying to force a Doomsie. He actually might be able to score here. Ooh, not good enough placement. He's going to have to drop that right in the bottom right corner. When he does not do so, it will be a Fahad win, and it'll be the first game loss for Rawas in the main event. Took the grand final for it to happen, but it will. Fahad evens up the best of seven, one to one. Rawas versus Fahad game number three. Rawas with a late game win in game number one. Fahad holding on to his lead, but just barely at the end of game number two. So far proving to be that 50-50 matchup that chat expected. 
Power shot from Rawas. Fahad sends it high. The danger is not over, though. He has to send another shot away. Rawas stealing the 100 boost in the process. If Fahad comes out of this one alive, it'll be huge credit to him. The hook shot is saved away, and he's got time to pick up the back corner boost. Great handle of the initial pressure from Rawas. The bump, but Rawas, the wave dash to get himself back in position. Ooh, he still doesn't get the save, though. It was a great play. I think, you know, worse players would have been more affected by that bump. Rawas got himself to his spot, his signature spot, that directly backwards um, shadow. But Fahad too good at placing it away from him. Rawas coming off the top of his net. Not only does he save it, he instantly launches it back. Fahad didn't commit enough. He saw Rawas' setup and knew it was a good one, so he decided to just try and get away with a 50 or something. Instead, he just helps create a wall to launch a long shot off of. Fahad trying to sneak a quick kickoff goal. Not going to be able to do so. Fahad, the fake musty. Keeps Rawas down. Oh my goodness, Fahad. This is just a dribble masterpiece right now. A great early setup. Faking that real far away. Musty flick keeps Rawas down. And then a nice air roll flick to put it behind Rawas around the goal line. My goodness. Rawas, when he won that game one, he was doing a really good job of early challenging Fahad, not letting him get into that dribble flick game. Since then, we've seen him in more retreating positions, and he has truly been unable to stop a flick from Fahad that gets a nice setup, nice cut underneath Fahad, though, to secure the second one. Fahad... Trying to do those backflip challenges. I know that wasn't necessarily a backflip challenge, but that's kind of what I'm talking about. Most of the time, trying to affect the play directly backwards like that. Results in exactly how it resulted for Fahad. Man, oh, what a save! That was a great setup. I love using that second jump to push his car back down to the ground and get ready for that power shot. But Fahad pinches it off the post and is back for the quick counterattack. 3-2, man, both these guys swinging the tide so quickly, whenever it feels like one of them's about to take control, an insane save, and turnaround comes out, and the momentum, the momentum has shifted. Baja though, a low 50, buys himself enough time to grab a fourth. Rawas, man, <laughs> he's expecting to get one or two of these every single game. The non-diagonal kickoffs are really good for Rawas. Somehow, he is able to 50 this right into his spot, always going left with it. I wonder if there's something about how Rawas sets that up that Faha can maybe affect. This time, he goes wave dash kickoff for whatever reason. The other kickoffs have been working for him so well. Faha will gladly take back the goal he just lost. Rawas, the ball to the corner, using his camera to check and see if Fahad's coming. High likelihood of a demo in those situations, so he's just looking to see if he needs to jump. Rawas, the 50, trying to pop this into a dangerous spot. Great catch on the wall. He can cut this now to the net much faster than he would have! He bumped Fahad, and he needs the backflip shot to finish it off. Fahad, the recovery! Wow, a great offensive sequence from Fa or sorry from Rawas, but I tell you what, Fahad always seems to cover it, and then he comes out the better as he's great in these counterattacks. Rawas, see, there's a backflip challenge that whiffs this time around. He has been so good at those up until that exact moment. I 
Wass breaking up the offense of Fahad, sending it to the corner. Fahad's going to give him loads of space. So what will Rawas do? Oh, I love it. We have seen both of these guys picking each other apart with surprisingly early challenges. Rawas says, I've had enough of it. I'm sending it immediately this time. I don't believe you're faking. You've dove too many times. And he was correct. Once again, Rawas creating a possession, taking it to the back corner. That's not a great first touch, though. I don't doubt Rawas' ability to turn it into something, but definitely not the way he wants to start, immediately killing the bounce off of it. Rawas, hook shot, Fahad sends it away. Fahad staying on offense, despite only having a pad or two of boost, and this is why he knew he had a good position. Catches the ball, Rawas in his spot. Thought he was gonna be able to affect this flick, but tried to come out and meet it early. Fahad gets it passed. Rawas. Nice power shot. He had the opportunity to hook shot far, and Fahad knew it. I thought for a second Fahad might, or sorry, Rawas might be taking this early touch and booming it far post, and, and so did Fahad. You see him instantly boosting and rushing out of that corner, and that's what leaves open the possibility to put it behind him, and it's great, great touch and direction by Rawas to make sure Fahad can't get the save. Within two, every game has been close down to the wire, even when one of these guys gets an early lead. Rojas, he, he's really into this slow dribble right now. Hasn't worked well for him. Fahad has covered it well. He's just trying to get Fahad to make a mistake on defense, and Fahad's not willing to do that for him. He's just playing defense so well. Fahad. On the bounce dribble, he is patient and pops it past Rawas. Rawas, once again, turning for that backflip challenge. It's so hard to make it work. It was working for him before, but it's gonna betray him here late in game number three. Fahad launching a musty away. Not enough time for Rawas. Will he get a clip to end game number three? Double flip reset. Oh, Fahad let him. 8 6. I'll let you guys watch the double flip reset again. Fahad just staring as it comes down past the net. Fahad taking back the lead. Game three. Ross taking the first. Fahad striking back, taking the next two. Going up 3-1 would certainly feel like a lethal blow. Fahad, he misses. He had the open net. He got the outplay. And now Ross will go up 1-0 instead. He didn't realize the bounce was coming off so low, so he tried to jump and cover what could have been a higher bounce. And it just rolls underneath him. That was an interesting kickoff from Mawas. The immediate wave dash. The high wave dash too, used a lot of boost. I'll tell you what, it worked. Got him a goal. So whatever it did, maybe we'll see it again. Rawas, is this his classic immediate kickoff from the left side? It is! Faha tries to break it up. Ends up bumping Rawas, or maybe getting bumped by Rawas. Wait. Oh, yeah. Getting bumped. Trying to box out the play. Fahad. The slow dribble, and he'll 50 it in. I wasn't sure if he was going to try and bump Rawas or what. 
But Rawas did not want to turn and challenge early. Tried to just squeeze it out on the goal line. Not going to work. Uh, thank you, Batman, by the way. Appreciate the love. Don't do too much um, chatting with chat in these grand finals, but I see your nice messages when you guys put them in chat. I appreciate it. Bahad. He is just a master class of these dribbles. When he gets the car on top of it, or sorry, when he gets the ball on top of his car, he's great at constantly putting threats on, keeping that defender busy, and then just bumping him out of the way at the end. Baja taking that in front of his net with confidence. And it works out. He got the low 50 to keep Rawas out. And then Rawas couldn't get the high touch either. So now this is Fahad's spot. It's worked so well for him. But even that little bit of fake challenge was enough. You saw Rawas turn ever so slightly upfield. And Fahad lost his confidence in his dribble. Dropped it over and made it possible for Rawas to take away. Fahad looking to get a quick goal. Try and punish Rawas for picking up boost. Doesn't seem like he's going to succeed. Now he needs to bump Rawas out of the way. Man, these angles sometimes feel awkward. Uh, but it's never awkward for these guys. Because Fahad bumps Rawas in pretty deep to the point where he's got to jump kind of from behind the position he'd like to. But, of course, no issue at all. Wow, Fahad, immediate kickoff goal. This is the way Fahad wins his. When he wins his, he's winning him right and directly off the wall, back to center. When Rawas wins his, he is killing them inside the circle and then punching them in. Actually, Fahad about to win a Rawas version of the kickoff. But Rawas sending it away. Fahad cannot find any sort of creative way to get it past Rawas from that position. Rawas retreating to midfield. Once again, letting Fahad get to his spot this time. He demos Rawas at the cost of not taking an immediate shot, but he'll get it in. Rawas maybe could have afforded to spawn better. He spawned as far away as possible. If he had spawned on the close one, he might have had it. Rawas. Bounce dribble. Power shot saved away. Bahad. Another save. Doing his best to hold on to the little bit of boost he does have. Trying to connect with Rawas on 50s where he can kind of generate power using Rawas's speed as opposed to his own boost. Nice dribble from Rawas. Great punish of a defender who did not want to jump in the air. He did have his 100 now though. Fahad sitting and waiting. I just waited way too long. I mean, looking back, it's hard to think what Fahad was hoping by jumping as late as he did. Six four. Rawas threatening, tying up the series again. Rawas, a save, a power shot. Even Fahad's gonna throw what a save. Oh, just barely, and then he gets it off the post as an immediate pass. Two minutes and a three-goal lead. Fahad, a flick on an open net. Rawas coming in for the shadow defense a little bit too deep. He picked up the 100 but he just waited to turn so late. Fahad punished well with a nice flick.
Baja gonna kill this down to a bounce dribble. He's been really good with these. He got Rawas to jump early, so he'll low 50. And it works well. We talked about the trading of defense. Fahad has had such good goal line defense. Rawas hasn't looked fully like his normal self trying to defend that ground game, but that's because he's got one of the best players on the other side of the field. It's hard for anybody, no matter who you are, to defend a guy like Fahad, and he gets a great power shot off the bounce. The ball just far enough infield for him to be able to get around it. And boom, that shot, 7-7. Seven, seven. Rawas, his lead dwindling away. Fahad, an immediate kickoff. Can he give himself an 8-7 lead? He will. This is a crucial game for Rawas. Not only because 3-1 is such a tough spot to come back from, but also the momentum, the mental game. Rawas had a lead for the majority of this game to see it fall away to Fahad will certainly be a tough thing to recover from. But I will say, I have seen Rawas of any player on my stream recover from some of the toughest situations. He does not seem to be bothered by the state of the series. But I'm sure he'd prefer not to go down 3-1. Fahad had an open shot. Does he get it? No, he misses wide. And he sticks with it. It actually felt a little bit dangerous to stick with it. Because as this pops off, you know, Fahad, he's not positioned super well. If he loses a 50, maybe he is giving up a goal. But not a lot of choice either with no boost. So he sticks with it. 9 7. Fifty seconds left to go. Can Rawas get two? Well, there's the first. <laughs> he just barely pops it over. And Fahad gives it a little extra help. We saw Rawas do this same mistake too, where he just turned way too deep into the challenge. Forty seconds on the clock. What am I talking about? Why am I even pretending that the game is close to over? The way these guys have been scoring. We should expect four or five more goals. Rawas on the goal line, the flick, and there's one of the four to five. Nine to nine, chat. 28 seconds on the clock. Nine to nine, we got time. This could finish 11 to 11. And then we go to some overtime. Rawas. A tap on net. It gets saved by Fahad. He has to use almost all his boost, though, just to get in control of it. This is not a great bounce for him. He's going to have to recover from a poor position. Rawas not want to let you get away with it, but he misses his power shot off the post. Fahad would have never had a chance in the world at saving anything in that realm. He just needed to get it inside. Fahad, he knows it's over. He won't even drive. You can see him. He doesn't get a good 50 here. And, oh, he just has to watch. Rawas at zero seconds takes it back and ties up the series two to two. One last best of three. These two seem about as evenly matched as you could hope for. And now the only thing separating both these guys from their $500 first prize is one last best of three. Who will strike first in the ever crucial game five? Looks like it'll be Rawas as these two try and 50 with each other at midfield. Nuggets qualifying game? All right, yeah, that's fine. Whatever you want to do, Buried Living, I'm, I'm totally um, down for however you want to handle those. Chat, you can check out It's Baby Jesus' stream for a qualifying match for the EU. Air dribble, crossbar and down for Rawas. Looking to challenge immediately after kickoff. He was able to pick up the 100. 
Bahad playing on very little. Bahad now has the 100. Ruas, his backflip shot saved away. He does love his backflip play. He's now got himself in his famous shadow position. But the offense in this series is just too strong. Neither one of these guys can stop each other. And the double jump bump, not a bad way to handle it. We saw lots of players um, handling the Ruas shadow by just rolling a slow ball at him. It's really hard to handle because it forces that backwards play that we've been talking about being so hard to do. Oh wow, the immediate power shot makes it over Fahad. Fahad doesn't have the boost, I guess, to make the save and doesn't have any pads to pick up on his way back. Oh, but I mean, he could have had that. I think that was just a bit of a mistake. Rawas sending this to the sidewall. Baja, not the bounce he wanted. Rawas will take it, but he misses as well. He had an open net after the way Fahad had set up his play. Oh my goodness, he <laughs> Fahad accidentally slamming his camera stick as he took that shot. Placement from Rawas is saved by Fahad, and that is not the first time we've seen this. The defense from Fahad is insane. He's been using that post to set up these counterattacks too. I don't think he's doing it very intentionally. He's just flipping out and doing his best to cover the net. But because he's just barely getting those saves, they're always hitting off the post out to midfield where he can immediately score. Ruas handling the snake dribble from Fahad well. Fahad can only do so much faking with zero boost. Power shot off the back wall. Rawas in these positions have handled himself really well. Does a good job of killing the ball, creating himself a possession, and he did not connect with the ball, but luckily Fahad had not put a touch online. The bounce dribble from Rawas challenged early. One too many bounces to get away with. This is a great position for Rawas though. Neither of them with boost, so maybe I take that back. He has to retreat. Fahad. On car dribble. If he had anything to work with, we likely would have seen that lethal flick from him. But with zero, he tries to go for the low 50. He does not succeed. And Rawas instead takes the goal up 4 2. Bahad. Wow, I was going to say, not the best of flick attempts. When you get going real quick like this and you put a soft touch and find yourself in front of the ball, it could be easy to save, but one way to recover it is to just keep all that momentum you have and take out the defender, which he does beautifully. Bahad touching this high above Rawas. I don't even think it was much of an outplay, though. I think Rawas just missed. Based on the perspective I have, it looked like Rawash just got there late and would have been flying by it either way. Bod tying this game back up. This series is so close. But I tell you what, the one thing that has reigned above all is offense over defense. These guys just know how to score on each other. Fahad taking his bounce as close to the net as possible. And then the quick double jump just gives it an acceleration that Rawas can't read. This is the Fahad kickoff. We've seen it a bunch of times when he wins. It's going off that right wall. Very intentionally getting on the left side of the ball there, it seemed. Bahad popping this straight up. Holding onto a lot of boost off the kickoff. He's able to pick up one pad, but still, 36 means he's saving a decent amount to finish off the kickoff. Rawas will get a fifth. The pressure too hard to maintain for Bahad.
Baja this time to kick off. Not going to be immediately in. Rawas able to slow it down. He has to fear for his life, though, as he carries his dribble with low boost. And Fahad coming in with 100. Definitely going to be looking for that physical play. Rawas, fake challenge. Fahad, nerves of steel. Not panicking. Waiting to set up the dribble he wants to set up. Now Rawas with full field, a flick over Fahad. It's gonna miss and it's gonna take a super unfortunate bounce. Rawas would have rather missed wider so that it didn't clip the inside of the corner. He could have followed up almost any other bounce. 30 seconds left to go. Fahad with a one goal lead. It's probably gonna be a two goal lead though. We're gonna need to see the signature kickoff from Rawas. We haven't seen him get one of them yet in this game where he kills that ball slightly to the right and then scores. He probably won't get one on a diagonal kickoff. Diagonal kickoffs have not been the spot that he's been dominating in. 7-5, Fahad, absolutely no reason to bring this ball to Rawas. He's gonna make Rawas miss on a backflip challenge, make it 8-5. That is great play of your lead. We saw Rawas do that very well in his previous series. And both these guys way too good not to do exactly the right thing um, in terms of securing games when having possession and the lead. Gloss, his dribble, saved away, and Fahad putting himself on the edge of taking the best of seven. He won the last time in best of five against these two. And if this were a best of five, it would be another Fahad win but a couple games left to go potentially. Fahad goes up 3-2. Game six. Chat earlier when Ruas tied it up said they're expecting to see a game seven. Are they gonna get what they expect? Seems like it could happen. Ruas has done a good job bouncing back when striked against. Bod creating an opportunity off that, just barely missing wide. Oh my goodness, that shot! <laughs> oh my goodness. That is a boomer. 150 km per hour. Textbook power shot. Bahad has the boost and honestly it's not in a bad spot but <laughs> you're not going to save that shot Fahad the double jump early he knew or sorry Rawas the double jump early because he knew Fahad was going to come challenge the musty flick sent away wait Rawas he just passed it off the ceiling I wonder if Fahad was even going to score this without the help it might have been headed too high. Yeah, it might have been crossbar out. <laughs> Rawas, he says, here, let me help you out. Sends it to the ceiling and in. Baja with possession. He might be able to take a quick power shot. But man, the way Rawas moves, probably not. Rawas. Picking up this back corner boost, didn't have a chance to take a shot attempt off that play. Fahad, what a cut. Oh, that's nasty. Just pulling it away. This is what we see Ramaz do to people a lot. Fahad says, whoop, no, <laughs> sorry, bud. <laughs> oh, that was nasty. <laughs> Fahad immediately a possession off kickoff again. These are so crucial, especially with how much scoring that has happened in this series. You need to get as many possessions as possible. You can consistently control the kickoff. You're likely to win. Right now, Fahad has had the edge in the kickoff and he was able to hold on to possession ever since the moment he got it all the way until the goal. Rawas, sure, put on a couple challenges, but never really broke it up and prevented him from not eventually getting a shot attempt. So 
a Fahad lead. It's barely even worth mentioning who's in the lead until we get to the end of these games. This one on track to finish 9-9 again. Who knows who will have the edge once we get there. Fahad, his bounce dribble power shot saved the wave. Rawas, the counterattacks have been so crazy. The bounce helped him. The spin on the bounce was just enough. He reacts so quickly to this shot attempt. We watched it from his perspective. He did not have ball cam on. He was looking at that corner, thinking about getting a, you know, a boost deal from Fahad. He doesn't get it. Turns ball cam on, instantly has the perfect read on how to power shoot it to get it past. 3-3. Three, three. A touch over the corner, but he actually bumped Fahad back to a defending position. Doesn't matter. Rawas will keep it high. Fahad, I mean, he reacted well. He got totally dusted by challenging low, but then kind of half-flipped back into position to have even a chance. Fahad going to kill this clear. Rawas giving him space. And the flick goes in. Offense reigns supreme time and time again. I thought for sure Rawas would be able to save this one away, but he feels backflips. Oh my goodness. Pixels away from tapping that with his backflip. Fahad, an immediate kickoff goal. Nice setup. We'll take a couple good touches. Get a bounce going and put it in a good spot for the power shot. Oh my goodness, that's, oh, not the best bounce for Rawas. Seemed like it was going to be a very quick goal, but it needed to hit the wall instead of the floor and wall connection that sends it to the ceiling. Fahad going to let it roll in slow, why not? Two goal lead. Here we are, halfway through the game. 10 goals scored again. I feel like before this started, you would have thought this was going to be a defensive masterclass against each other. But both of their offense just too good. The power shots today for Rawas have just been so good. I mean, it's not often you see somebody pick one of these top defenders apart with just surprisingly perfect, strong shots. But... And Ruas has done it multiple times. Still down one though. Not anymore. Fahad, his back backwards defense, not gonna work. As he tries to pull into a shadow. Two minutes left. We've seen three goals in the past 20 seconds when we were talking about it before. Fahad, when he has open field, what he wants to do is take a cut that brings the ball directly to the net right away. He's never trying to set up on the wall or you know move the ball around before his setup. He wants to cut it and immediately put the pressure on. Get that defender into his defensive sequence. Hopefully, eventually forcing a goal. This time, Rolas cannot cover with the backflip. I mean, we're so used to people setting up shadow defenses. I mean, it's usually the right way to play uh, to prevent goals, but both these guys showing how you can expose those shadow defenses, force them to play backwards challenges really awkwardly and then punish them off it. Bahad, a soft tap. Can he find the angle? He can. Faded Rawas in. Picking up this corner boost. It's a hard to win the race with somebody who's high on the wall already. 
Ruas was willing to try it though. Bahad with a one goal lead with a minute left to go. Ruas, he's been so good at sniping the crossbar down and in. This time he snipes it down and out. The clear is perfect to send Rawas' car into the corner boost. Keep Bahad starred for just a moment longer, but Bahad playing well, regardless of how starved he is. Rawas' flick missing high. The offense slowing down here as the game comes to an end. Fahad is in control. And both these guys are very good at holding on to their lead, but right now this is a really crucial moment for Fahad. Both him and Rawas low on boost. And Fahad is going to be getting a second goal instead. Covering it well, Rawas will be the first to break and head to pick a corner boost. But Fahad says, I don't need any. I'll roll it down the field for a two-goal lead. Rawas, is he going to change his kick up, up at all? Or is he going to stick with what's been working for him, at least on occasion? This ball high in the air. That's not a great first touch. It would take a miracle for Rawas to pull it out. There will be no game seven. Fahad takes it in six. GG's from both these guys. $500 first place and number one seed for Middle East going to Fahad. Ross walking away with a very respectable second place and 125. Game six. Chat earlier when Ruas tied it up said they're expecting to see a game seven. Are they gonna get what they expect? Seems like it could happen. Ruas has done a good job bouncing back when striked against. Bod creating an opportunity off that, just barely missing wide. Oh my goodness, that shot. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is a boomer, 150 kilometer per hour. Textbook power shot. Fahad has the boost and honestly, it's not in a bad spot, but <laughs> you're not gonna save that shot. Fahad, the double jump early. He knew, or sorry, Rawas the double jump early because he knew Fahad was going to come challenge. The musty flick sent away. Wait, Rawas, he just passed it off the ceiling. I wonder if Fahad was even going to score this without the help. It might have been headed too high. Yeah, it might have been crossbar out. But <laughs> Rawas, he says, here, let me help you out. Sends it to the ceiling and in. Bahad with possession, he might be able to take a quick power shot. But man, the way Rawas moves, probably not. Rawas. Picking up this back corner boost, didn't have a chance to take a shot attempt. Off that play, Fahad, what a cut! Oh, that's nasty. Just pulling it away. This is what we see Ramaz do to people a lot. Boss says, whoop, no, <laughs> sorry, bud. <laughs> oh, that was nasty. <laughs> Bahad immediately a possession off kickoff again. These are so crucial, especially with how much scoring that has happened in this series. You need to get as many possessions as possible. You can consistently control the kickoff. You're likely to win. Right now, Fahad has had the edge in the kickoff and he was able to hold on to possession ever since the moment he got it, all the way until the goal. Rawas, sure, put on a couple challenges, but never really broke it up and prevented him from not eventually getting a shot at him. So, a Fahad lead. 
it's barely even worth mentioning who's in the lead until we get to the end of these games. This one on track to finish 9-9 again. Who knows who will have the edge once we get there. Bahan, his bounce dribble power shot saved a wave. Rawas, the counterattacks have been so crazy. The bounce helped him. The spin on the bounce was just enough. He reacts so quickly to this shot attempt. We watched it from his perspective. He did not have ball cam on. He was looking at that corner, thinking about getting a, you know, a boost steal from Fahad. He doesn't get it. Turns ball cam on, instantly has the perfect read on how to power shoot it to get it past. 3-3. Three, three. A touch over the corner, but he actually bumped Fahad back to a defending position. Doesn't matter. Rawas will keep it high. Fahad, I mean, he reacted well. He got totally dusted by challenging low, but then kind of half flipped back into position to have even a chance. Fahad gonna kill this clear. Rawas giving him space, and the flick goes in! Offense reigns supreme time and time again. I thought for sure Rawas would be able to save this one away, but he feels backflips. Oh my goodness. Pixels away from tapping that with his backflip. Baja, an immediate kickoff goal. Nice setup. To take a couple good touches, get a bounce going, and put it in a good spot for the power shot. Oh my goodness, that's, oh, not the best bounce for Rawas. Seemed like it was gonna be a very quick goal, but it needed to hit the wall instead of the floor and wall connection that sends it to the ceiling. Bahad gonna let it roll in slow, why not? Two goal lead. Here we are, halfway through the game. 10 goals scored again. I feel like before this started, you would have thought this was going to be a defensive masterclass against each other. But both of their offense just too good. The power shots today for Rawas have just been so good. I mean, it's not often you see somebody pick one of these top defenders apart with just surprisingly perfect, strong shots. But I mean, Rawas has done it multiple times. Still down one though, not anymore. Fahad, his back, backwards defense, not gonna work. As he tries to pull into a shadow. Two minutes left. We've seen three goals in the past 20 seconds when we were talking about it before. Bahad, when he has open field, what he wants to do is take a cut that brings the ball directly to the net right away. He's never trying to set up on the wall or you know move the ball around before his setup. He wants to cut it and immediately put the pressure on. Get that defender into his defensive sequence. Hopefully, eventually forcing a goal. This time, the loss cannot cover with the backflip. I mean, we're so used to people setting up shadow defenses. I mean, it's usually the right way to play uh, to prevent goals, but both these guys showing how you can expose those shadow defenses, force them to play backwards challenges really awkwardly, and then punish them off it. Bahad, a soft tap. Can he find the angle? He can. Baited Rawas in. Picking up this corner boost. It's a hard to win the race with somebody who's high on the wall already. Rawas was willing to try it though. Oh, 
Fahad with a one goal lead with a minute left to go. Rawas, he's been so good at sniping the crossbar down and in. This time, he snipes it down and out. The clear is perfect to send Rawas' car into the corner boost. Keep Fahad starred for just a moment longer, but Fahad playing well regardless of how starved he is. Rawas' flick missing high. The offense slowing down here as the game comes to an end. Fahad is in control. And both these guys are very good at holding on to their lead, but right now this is a really crucial moment for Fahad. Both him and Rawas low on boost. And Fahad is going to be getting a second goal instead. Covering it well, Rawas will be the first to break and head to pick a corner boost. But Fahad says, I don't need any. I'll roll it down the field for a two-goal lead. Rawas, is he going to change his kick up, up at all? Or is he going to stick with what's been working for him, at least on occasion? This ball high in the air. That's not a great first touch. It would take a miracle for Rawas to pull it out. There will be no game seven. Fahad takes it in six. GG's from both these guys. $500 first place and number one seed for Middle East going to Fahad. Rawas walking away with a very respectable second place and 125.